Hi, and uh, welcome back. Uh, this guide uh, is going to be part of a series of getting started with Arma. Uh, this is going to be for more curtailed to uh, players that are uh, not familiar with Arma and getting into it. Uh, from here, you're going to be able to watch and see how quickly you can get into Arma uh, once it's all set up. Uh, I'm going to work in reverse order. I'm going to show you how quickly you can get in and then how to get it all set up to where it's easy to use. Uh, this is for people that are not familiar with using the launcher and uh, haven't been uh, um, set up before. Okay, uh, And uh, this might be useful to some that are familiar and didn't know about some of the options or what some of the, the things did. Uh, so uh, this is how quickly you can jump into Arma. Uh, once again, this is with the expectations that you've already been, you configured everything, you've joined some servers. Uh, you favored them, uh, and that's about it. And I'll get into that after uh, depicting how quickly it is. All right, so I'm going to go down to here. I can either launch here or, uh, very simply, kind of come down, right-click, Launch Arma 3, launches the launcher, and here you go. As you can see, there's no servers. I'm going to hit this little refresh, and you're, I'll get into getting this set up to where you jump to, just to servers, uh, in a little bit here. All right, so I'm going to join one of the servers. Um, I'll get into the mod layout and loading up mods and what this all means in just a bit, but I'll click join. I tend to also minimize this. I've also uh, changed the back to the native uh, resolution on my monitor. Um, for the other guide, I did it uh, with 1080p in order to depict uh, the interface and focus on getting set up uh, for your first launch. This is more or less uh, depicting getting into the game. All right. Now, one of the things I noticed with the ultra wide, it crops the screen on some splash screens. Um, that's just due to the fact of uh, it's trying to fit it and the aspect ratio didn't quite match up. Uh, down at the bottom, you see these texts. That's where you're joining up. If you see some of that, that's good. If you see the red bar at the top, how it loads in, that's syncing with the server or downloading some data that you might need to play on the server. Uh, there's local mods, and then there's what the has been modified scripts and what have you on the server itself. All right, and then here we are. We're in the environment. Uh, say, for instance, you had some friends, some homies you wanted to get together, your boys. Uh, you just simply launch the launcher, click on the server that you guys wanted to jump on, and uh, join. And there you go. And it, this type of mod, though, is a persistent type of gameplay. So, uh, in a sense, you will pick up where you left off last. So, if you and your friends logged off the last time before, you'll log back in where you were uh, together. Um, here I'm in our uh, server's uh, terminal. It's where it's a uh, series of uh, uh, traders. You can buy and purchase stuff in the Exile mod. Uh, yeah, that's for like building, uh, various inventory items, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. All right, now that shows how to get in real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce out and I don't highly suggest this for people, but uh, what you can do is you can get to this menu right here and then you can hit Alt F4 and you can drop the game. Sometimes that generates an error, I'll just tell you uh, right off. Uh, it, uh, it's not advisable, and it's not gracefully shutting down the game, but uh, for the interest of time here, I've gone ahead and done that. Now, back to uh, the launcher. How did you get it to where uh, I could launch in fairly quickly? Well, there's a couple things you, that I'm going to guide you through on, on setup that's pretty quick, really easy, and it's easy to understand once you see how it kind of plays out. All right, so first of all, uh, the launcher defaults to dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that behavior. You can go to options, launcher options, and then you can change the default page that you land on once the launcher launches. I've picked servers here. You can pick mods, DLC, whatever. Uh, I would suggest servers so you could just jump right into it. If you, any other time you need to go there, uh, other places you can pick there, but 90% of the time you're just going to go to servers. So I'd suggest that. This changes the profile. 
where it looks a little bit different and that's about it. Uh, and then what you want to do here is disable the launcher's UI. That'll kind of squeeze a little bit extra performance, right? And then we'll go over to servers and then there you go. Uh, each time it should launch like so. Now, if you noticed before that servers didn't populate before and I went up and I refreshed and loaded it, right? That's only because I think uh, in one of the updates recently, they didn't want to query up against all the online servers or the services um, all the time for people when they launched. So I, I think that's why they did that way. Um, now, a couple things here. Uh, how did, under favorites, how do you get all these servers? Well, you can go to internet. You can filter out here. You can either do it in the uh, address bar. You can either type in just that right there where it has the... Uh, variable and then the server where you can go to filters you can go to uh, mission or server name and you can pop in those details and it'll start filtering through all the internet servers out there now if you notice it's taken a little bit and it's only parsed five as it's gone through these many servers give it some time let it parse through if you're looking for a specific uh, server it's not really instantaneous so give it a little bit of time and you're golden now, when you find that server, what you can do is you can come over here and you can actually star and, and it adds it to the favorites. Now, for instance, you joined a server and you didn't favorite it, you forgot to, you can come to your recent and then you can favorite it from here too. But that's how I got these servers to populate in the favorites and then I was able to jump right to it. Now, next thing, mods. All right. So you've subscribed to some mods where a friend maybe gave you a... Uh, a HTML file and it had all the mods or say you've gone and you subscribe to a certain subset of mods uh, and you're ready to go find a server to play on right uh, once you've done that um, you can actually find the server that you want right say for instance I want to join this server right here um, what I can do is I can either hit join and it gives me a list of the mods I'm going to pick for the server right or I can expand out the details and review a little bit more uh, about the server here you have, uh, just by putting your mouse there, you can see all the different, the, the three uh, or the four different emblems in, in their descriptions and a little bit of detail what level they're on, right? Um, <clears throat> here you see the mods right here. You can click on that. You get the same mod pop up. And so from here, I'm going to explain a couple of pieces. If you are in this and you want to show more again, you want to see some of those details you saw on the other page, you can do that. Uh, here also, you can see what all the mods are that are required by the server. So you have to load these. If you don't and you're joining the server and you see, you'll see where you can subscribe and download. You'll subscribe and then download and then you have to wait. I, when you do that, I would suggest this bounce out and then look at the bottom. The bottom of this panel, you'll see like a progress and you'll see when it's loaded and when you can load it. Um, the other thing is, is this is content required by the server, right? That's what you have to have at a bare minimum. These are suggestion, suggested or additional. And what that is, like they're optional, either client side type mods or the, uh, you can load them optionally. Sometimes though, um, since some of these mods are what they're uh, keyed or tokenized, um, it will use, they'll share a same token and come up as, hey, yeah, you can load this too. But say for instance, the server, like say these big uh, mod packs where they have vehicles and stuff, if you don't see them in the, the required, it's probably not a good idea to load them in the suggested or additional. But other things that are client side that you read about in the description about the mod, you can tell that can be client side, like sound mods, right? And I've got a, I've got quite a few here. Uh, these are head mounted displays. So if you free look, you can see the telemetry follow your uh, your uh, front of your face when you're in a, a helicopter or jet, what have you, um, on certain vehicles that is. And then this one right here is blast core, and you get uh, extra effects like particle effects that you can see, and it's it's really kind of cool. Uh, and then there's others uh, that are listed here. I'm not going to get into the details of those, but uh, once again, once you configure all your mods, you can hit join. 
Now, if you successfully launch in and the launcher does not crash, which it has been known to do uh, on minor occasions, right? Um, once you pick these, the next time you launch, it'll remember that. So that's why I knew going into the server, I had what I needed. Sometimes it helps if you've been on other servers to review whether uh, the proper mods that you want to load are loading or not. But uh, simple as that, pretty much. Now, as far as mods are concerned, um, and you want to review, here's where you can actually set up either presets, right? A presets where you have a predetermined uh, amount of mods that are already enabled, right? And I've done so with right here. I'm going to go ahead and save. Right? Or what you can do is you can import uh, a preset. Or from here, you can import a mod from an HTML file. That helps in uh, getting set up initially greatly. If you have some friends that already have some mods all together and they say, hey, look, you want these at a bare minimum, here you go. It makes it so much easier than going to find them and pick them one by one by one by one. Right? You can just go ahead and get a whole set, if you will, and all you have to worry about is just a good internet connection and getting them downloaded. So if you don't have any problems downloading any other uh, games or whatever else, then hey, uh, the world's your oyster. All right, but that's pretty much the background of this, uh, simply put, and uh, hope this is helpful for you guys and hope to see you on the battlefield. Uh, we'll have other guides going into other details about other things, but uh, basically that's uh, that's it.